And it's everyone's favorite stuff, the word problems. Oh, yeah. Okay, number six. Ken throws a discus at a school meet. The function is modeled by the equation where x is the times and seconds and y is height of the discus. I don't really know who wrote this question, but um, definitely need to go take an English class somewhere in Desert Mountain here to fix whatever happened there. Given the axis symmetry occurs at x equals 2.96875, find the following. The time it takes to reach the maximum height. Well, basically, in this situation, the time it takes to reach the maximum height, that axis of symmetry, how long it takes to get up there, it was given to you in the question. You literally just copy this. 2.96875 seconds. Wow, that was not hard. And the maximum height, the vertex here, the maximum height is going to be this value at the axis of symmetry. you got to plug that in here. Again, I want to show people how to do this in the calculator to make your life as easy as possible. You go into your y equals screen. In your y equals screen, you need to do negative 16x squared <coughs> plus 95x plus 6. Um, your window might be messed up from when you were graphing earlier, so if you want to fix that window, just hit zoom. And then standard, that's the number six button. So uh, that showed up. Doesn't even look like a parabola. It actually is a parabola. It goes up like this. But that's not relevant for the question. We just need to hit the trace button, and we need to plug in that 2.96875. We plugged in the whole thing. After hitting trace, you hit enter, and it looks like, uh, easy enough, 147.016. Uh, um, why is the height? It doesn't even say if it's in feet or not. Negative 16 actually does mean feet, so I'm going to put it. But, uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know what, what that question was all about. But, uh, you know, there it is. Okay, number seven, visually, how can you tell if a function has positive concavity? Easy. It's a happy face. How can you tell if it's a negative concavity? Easy, if it's a frowning face. Instead of visually, how could you know using a table of values? Well... Why don't we make a table of values really quick for a quadratic function? Let's pick an easy one. Let's do x squared plus 4x. Let's make a table of values for this. Let's cheat and use the calculator, too, while we're at it. So uh, we're trying to make a table of values. So x squared plus 4x. We want to make a table. Our table was messed up from an earlier question, so we got to reset this. Where do we want our table to start? I like doing negative 2. I like my table change to be 1 if I don't know what's happening. So I set those up, second table, get my table up. So uh, my x values here, y values here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And using my calculator, I'm just literally copying these numbers down. Negative 3, 0, 5, and 12. If you want to talk about concavity, remember that concavity means basically... The change in the change. The change in the change in y. The delta delta y. So first you get how to figure out what your delta y is. Your delta y uh, for these guys here. Uh, oh boy. my my Oh man, my table is a disaster right now. Absolute disaster. Because um, change is between two values. So between negative 4 and negative 3, what does that change? Negative 3 minus 4 is positive 1, so there should be a 1 right here. I'm sorry about this table, guys. I'm, I'm moving it. I, I, I can't handle this. This is, it is so ugly. Okay. All right, it's it's not really that much better, but at least I can read my 1 here, but the, between the negative 4 and the 3. Again, how did I get that? Negative 3 minus negative 4. 0 minus negative 3 is going to be a positive 3. 5 minus 0 is 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. There's my change in y. My change in change in y, my delta delta y. Don't screw this up this time. Oof. I did it. All right. Between 3 and 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. This is our definition of quadratic, when the change in change in y is a constant. And it's a constant positive number. Since this guy is positive, we have a happy face, positive concavity. Easy enough. That's all we're looking for. Um, good luck on this quiz, guys. Come in for tutoring if you need some help. Peace.